Well, hello. It is Tuesday, January 16th. It is just about noon, and we're starting at the front door. Uh, just in case the mail carrier comes, I want to be ready. So as soon as the sale was over, I started getting my, my labels ready to go on packages. Um, because there's a lot going out today. So thank you all so much for your prompt payments. I appreciate it. I was able to get, um, let's see, I'm able to trip all over Joe because he's helping today. Flip this around. Yep, there's Joe right there. He's helping. Uh, I have 21 packages heading out the door. Some of those are quite large. You can see these are very large packages. These are regular size packages. They look so tiny. <laughs> but there are 21 of them going out today. And that's a lot of labels. So I wanted to make sure that I had an opportunity to um, print out all the labels, get all the boxes, uh, downstairs, get them organized um, by the front door here. And yeah, so there they all are. Now, am I going to take up most of the mail truck today? Yes, I am. Am I going to keep my fingers crossed that my mail carrier is working today and I get pickup? Absolutely. But this is the first thing that I did today. All right, back around. Uh, I still need to, yep, get the table organized. Got to get that organized so I can talk about what's sold, what is still available. I also had some sales after the sale. We're going to talk about those. I'm going to get those all organized also. I need to go outside right now, start my car, run it for a while. Um, we... Should be above freezing today, and I think we're going to be close to being above freezing now for the rest of the week. I think this was our last cold morning in the 20s. Uh, the clouds are coming back in tonight, and that is going to help us keep our temperatures a little warmer. So I am looking forward to some rain and some 30 degree temperatures. Does that mean we might get a little snow? Maybe. Maybe a little snow, um, but right now it is still a sheet of ice outside, um, especially right outside where my cars are, uh, because I have a drain there for the road. So everything kind of comes right in front of my car. And yeah, it's a sheet of ice. So I'm not going anywhere till that melts. I'm not playing around with ice. Um, but that is what I'm doing next. And then as soon as I do that, I'm going to come back in, get the table organized, and we are going to talk about that. And eventually, I am going to get upstairs to do some more packing and some more invoicing. It's going to be an awesome day. So I will see you again in just a sec. All right, well, before I get into uh, the sale today, I want to talk about some items that sold from yesterday. So additional sales after the sale. Uh, so thank you all so much who watch either the uh, speed round of a live sale to see what is still available and those who watch uh, the vlog, which is also a basically a buy it now sale because I go through everything that is still available with the prices. So you're able to shop the vlog also. Uh, but the, um, these two books by Barbara Hambly, they're a trilogy, and then this one is also a trilogy. Uh, the Bunny Rabbit. I'm so glad this one sold with his little cottontail. And some of the jewelry. So the screw back um, copper. It's like copper with some kind of an acrylic over the top of it. The um, really pretty silver tone with some uh, clear rhinestones and like a blue bead. 
And then these really fun little resin earrings with a like a, a watch gear or maybe a clock gear in them. So very steampunk looking. Um, but those items sold um, after the sale. So again, thank you so much. Uh, those of you that watch the additional content and make purchases. I appreciate it. Well, <laughs> it is, uh, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, a little later than I thought it was going to be, but a lot has happened. <laughs> Lots been going on. Um, let's see. Since the last time, which was showing off the mail, um, the mail carrier came, got everything out. I did put my um, my jacket on, uh, kind of like a little fleece throw, uh, just so I could stay warm because the front door was going to be open for quite a while. And that worked. Uh, right before that, though, I had um, I had ordered some more packing peanuts and I buy about four bags at a time, just kind of, I don't know. I don't know why four, but that's just how, how it works out. I get about four. So those came, uh, those are delivered UPS. So I got those upstairs. Um, I had a couple couple more bundles of boxes that I needed to take upstairs, so I took those upstairs. Um, got some uh, garbage and recycling out. Now, I live in a condo community, so I don't have an individual um, garbage can or recycling bin. We have, um, what do we have, four of them? I think we have, we have four throughout the community. Um, we're on eight acres. So it's it's actually about a block away <laughs> for me to take my garbage, which since it has been bitter cold and a little icy out, I have not, not taken it out for a few days, but it's been fine. Um, it's mostly, <laughs> mostly just cat litter. And I put that in a separate plastic bag and tie it up so it's uh, kind of airtight. Um, so got that out. That was great. Um, got the car taken care of. That was great. Um, oh, uh, had some lunch. Got that all done. Um, got some lunch for Joe. He's being very picky right now on what he wants to eat. I don't know why. He usually was like a garbage can. Now, all of a sudden, he's like, mm, I have a refined palate. <laughs> That's not going to work for me. Um, oh, I forgot to count. That was the one thing I forgot to do. Um, yeah, so it, it's been a busy, busy few hours. Let's see. I brought 43 items to the sale today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen out of forty-three sold. Uh, this was a very different kind of sale. I have some artwork and um, and a couple pieces of linen. I have some uh, a few more pieces of linen, but they are in a, an OxyClean soak right now. Um, yeah, they just needed a little, I don't know, couple of stains I want to try to either lighten up or, or get rid of. Um, and yeah, and sometimes whites just need, I don't know, they were, they were a little dingy. So I said, you know what, I'm just, since I'm going to do some, some stain treating, I'm just going to throw them in here. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, those I'll have soak overnight and then tomorrow being Wednesday, uh, probably in between the two sales, I will kind of wash up that load and, and see how it looks, see what's going on with it. Um, but yeah, so a little different kind of sale. Um, but let's go ahead, and the reason I'm kind of over here is because I have it set up right here. 
and I can, nope, I'm gonna need to, I wasn't sure if I could do it sitting down, if that would be, that would be okay, but nope, I'm gonna stand up for this one. So we're first gonna go over the items that are still available from the sale. Um, I have this super cute framed black and white, you know, kind of vintage style. Uh, this is a, a copy of something, but it's printed on um, really nice paper. And that is an 11 by eight and a half frame. There we go. And that is $2. Um, oh, then this one here. Uh, this was from 1969. This is Agate Beach Lighthouse in uh, Newport, Oregon. It's mounted on wood. This is eight and a half by six, and it is five dollars. Then we have the the ducks or the mallards, probably in a nice gold frame. I do believe that that is, yeah, Charles Murphy, and I think it's 1980. Um, really nice coloring and detailing on the mallards. They are uh, eight by 10, and that is $5. Uh, this one also in a really nice, gold tone metal frame. This one is called Lil Leslie's Lily. It's in really pretty colors. A very pale yellow, a little brighter yellow. Ooh, come on, focus. Focus. And almost a little bit of pink down here. Um, ooh, we are not going to be able to see that, are we? Let's Yikes. Let me try to uh, try to pick that up. So right down there it says Leslie's Lily and I believe it's number 11 of 250. And that one is $6. Okay, move those back. Um right here this is, uh, the measurements of the paper are written in pencil right there. So this whole page is 12 by 16. Uh, it is a portrait of Mademoiselle uh, Jeremy, I believe. Right here, the... I don't know if it's the original or the engraving that is dated. It is 18, uh, let me check my notes because it's a little hard to read, uh, 1890. Yep, just wanted to make sure I was reading that right. So that says 1890. And this is an engraving of an original uh, piece of art so that they would then be able to put this into uh, books or uh, other publications. There were several uh, like monthly periodicals like the original copy table books that uh, nice artwork like this would be in and this could be a page from that. It does have some foxing and there's nothing on the back. Uh, this one is $8.00. And I'll get in close so you can see her. Uh, then I have some automobiles. Now all of these are 12 by 16 and each one is two Betty from the artist Bob Banks. And you can see his name right here. Um, each one has one of these little cards that tells more about the vehicle. This one is the 1921 Locomobile, and that is $8. The uh, 1911 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost, and these art prints are really beautifully detailed. 
and they are each eight dollars and they are 12 by 16 inches this one is the 190809 Mercedes Semarine Race Racer. And the last one is the 1912 Mercer Raceabout. All right, and again, those are $8 each. Uh, the Mary Inglebright Four Seasons. This is done in a tapestry style, and you can hang that up. Spring, summer, winter, and fall. Each one has her little Scotty dog with her. There's the Mary Inglebright mark. And I'll show you the little Scotty in each one. This one, he's down in the leaves there. Uh, that is $10. Uh, right up here, I have a Lucy Rig who did a lot of these little teddy bears as figurines for Anesco. This one is a framed art. Uh, the frame is 15 by 12. And I'll get in so you can see that she's got, um, they're, they've got piggy banks, a raggedy Ann, a wonderful patchwork quilt. We've got teddy bears, nutcracker, and a wonderful little horse, little blocks. Uh, this is $12. Uh, we are going to pop over here really quick. And show this one. This is my largest one. It is 17 by 13 in this really nice wood frame. This one is by Jody Bergsma. She is a Western Washington artist. It is dated 1983 and it's number 2000 and something of 7500. It is Matthew 7 7. And I'm going to pan back here so you can see the wonderful illustration. Oh, I hadn't even noticed before that we've got a little mouse right there watching. She's with the teddy bear. I love his little heart. And then they've got the beautiful tree. And there is a little bird up on top there. Uh, this one is $15. All right, following along on my sheet to make sure I don't forget anything. Okay, we are going to pop over here to the tablecloth. This is a, a polyester cotton tablecloth. You can see kind of fall colors on this one. It is 100 by 60. I think it might even be 102 inches by 60, but that got it close enough. Uh, this one is uh, $8 for the tablecloth. Uh, I brought some puzzles today also. So bits and pieces, a thousand piece puzzle. All three of these puzzles are still sealed in their original plastic. Uh, this one is uh, Renaissance, and it is $8. This one is The Garden, and that is $8. Uh, this one is 1,500 pieces, Balloon Glow. That is a lovely one, and that is also $8. Okay, then we are going to go right down here. This is a photograph by Ed Hughes uh, from Australia. This is Sydney Harbor. Beautiful Sydney lights. This is 8x8. Eight eight. It does have a little rope on the back to hang it. Right there is the Sydney Opera House. And that is a $6.00. I have an Elton Bennett. 
Uh, Elton Bennett lived in the Pacific Northwest, right on the Oregon coast, pretty much right where Oregon meets Washington. And um, a lot of his artwork is sea or beach related. Uh, he passed away in 1974. So all of his artwork before that, and it definitely has that um, a lot of it, that 70s kind of style to it. Uh, this is a lithograph. It is in a 15 by 12 wooden frame. It's called The Seabird's Cry Number 1. And I do believe the people on the beach are clam diggers. And then we have the beautiful um, sunset and the birds flying because that is a um, west coast view. So yes, the sun would um, set over the ocean. And that is $30. Um, his daughter does sell his art prints. Um, the prints are bigger. They are about the size of the frame. However, they are $80 each. And this one you get framed and it is just $30. Uh, I have another Jody Bergsma print. This one here. I'm gonna move that because I'm getting a I'm getting a shadow right there. Let's see if I can get a little less of a shadow here. 1984. Uh, nothing can replace the joy that family brings. The frame on this one is eight by six, so it is a small print. Could be really cute with Easter coming up with the happy little duck family. Uh, that is six dollars. Uh, then I have this one. This is a Southwest house and it's done with um, paper. So they uh, take the paper and get it down to a pulp, put it in a mold, let it dry, and then hand paint it. This frame is eight by six and it is $5. Uh, then I have these. Uh, these are lithographs, but they are made, you know, kind of to look like oil paintings. Uh, this one is um, some old fashioned race cars and it is uh, 10 by eight inches and that is $3. Then I have the 1910 Buick Touring Car. And that one is uh, also 10 by eight and $3. I have a few of, oops, that goes with that. A few of these uh, Edward Curtis Native families. Uh, Edward Curtis photographed Native Americans for 30 years starting in 1898. On the back of each one of these is a card that says, um, you know, a little bit about what is in the photograph and the year. And you also get information about Edward Curtis right there. And these are five dollars each, and the mat on these um, is five by seven, so they would fit into a five by seven frame. So these are $5 each. And again, they do say what is on the back of each one. These ones, um, this, this particular one is uh, Canadian, very, very, very far north Canadian. Uh, that is why they are wearing the thick, um, thick animal animal fur this one it says it is a play tp on the back and then this one is ten dollars i have a feeling that this little fella is a chief's son uh i i don't see anyone else with um all that adornment on them other than the chief's son. 
So that particular one is $10. I have a Mount St. Helens kind of combo pack. We have a postcard booklet that shows pictures of Mount St. Helens before the eruption. And then this is a Polaroid or Kodak. Uh, I always want to say Polaroid, but it's, it's probably on, on Kodak paper. But that is an actual photograph of Mount St. Helens erupting. And uh, the mat on the photograph is 12 by 9. And that is $12 for that set. And then lastly, um, this is Oh Boy Oberto uh, Beef Jerky. But it is a hydroplane. And for those of you that have not ever seen um, hydroplanes, they are racing boats and they skim across the top of the water. They are a lot of fun to watch. And this one is uh, 13 inches long by eight and a half inches. And that is $2. All right, I'm gonna flip over and we're gonna take a look at the items that sold today. All right, what sold today? A couple of Elvis pictures. Uh, I also brought some additional linens, so a set of three hankies, some of this really pretty little lace, this cute little cross stitch piece and a cross stitch towel, and uh, some artwork. This one is called Salad Fixins. This is my last um, Cash's silk woven piece with the um, butterfly. This one is called Reflections in Brudges. And it looks like it is a reflection in the water. It's really cool. Uh, this is a card that is nine by six, so a great piece of art. And this is a, a collector's plate in a beautiful frame. And yeah, this particular plate has a really neat 3D effect. Uh, the elephant wall art, so you can build a little elephant head that pops out. The puzzle, um, I think this one was called A Pleasant Day. And then lastly, yep, Joe, course my helper I have uh, this Elton Bennett no with the fish school of fish on it all right so that is a quick look at um, all of the items that sold today that back around all right so that is going to wrap up the vlog for today I am going to of course put all the items away and get the items that sold upstairs. I'm going to be working on packing and invoicing for the rest of the day and evening. I also need to get my 10 items ready for the morning sale and be prepared because it starts at eight o'clock my time in the morning. So I got to get ready the night before. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is going to do it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.